welcome back. Are you eating fermented food at home? If you are eating, I believe you are making too. If you are not making, I suggest you start making because you will get lots of probiotics and other benefits from it. I am fermenting vegetables, fruits, seeds, making sauces, making condiments. But sometimes there are so many excess, you know, you don't know what to do with those. So I'm trying to, you know, use those excess sauce, vegetables in my cooking, in the new, new dishes I am making. So today I'm going to show you how you can use your homemade fermented sauce and your lacto fermented vegetables to roast a chicken. If you follow this recipe, you are going to get a whole roasted chicken, very crispy from outside. From inside, it's soft, juicy, little spicy, a little pineapple flavor and lots of lime flavor. It's mouth watering, trust me. Today is my anniversary, so many things to prepare. Without wasting time, let's go. I am using a big chicken, around 2 kilos. We'll pat dry the chicken first. I am going to make this chicken full of lime flavor, hence we'll use lemongrass, smash and cut into small pieces. I have this fermented chili pineapple sauce which I am going to mix with yogurt and apply on the chicken. But before that, I will apply salt and homemade pineapple vinegar thoroughly on the skin. Now, we will push my fingers under the skin gently to make a pocket inside. Same way we will do on the other side. We will make three cuts here on the thigh so that the flavors will go in and it will be well cooked. We will mix the yogurt and sauce and apply all over and give this princess a good massage. Don't forget to apply inside the pocket and tummy. Now going to put some coffee lemon leaves and lemon grass inside and this will do the miracle. It will bring a nice mild lemon flavor in everything. Don't forget to put on other side. We will also put some lemon grass, coffee lemon leaves with some ginger slices inside the stomach. I had some leftover ginger paste which I applied on the skin too. Now going to cover and keep it in the refrigerator for 8 hours. In this 8 hours, the meat has absorbed all the flavors well and the acid in sauce and yogurt will make the meat very soft and juicy. Adding some chopped cilantro and we'll push it with some butter slices inside the pocket. This will make the skin very buttery while baking it and crispy when roasting later. Last adding some chili powder with little yogurt to add some color and spiciness. Now putting one lemon inside so that when baking the chicken 
inside will also have the lime flavor. Tie the chicken so that the whole chicken will be evenly cooked. If you are following me, you know how obsessed I am with kaffir lemon leaves flavor. So how can I forget to put few more inside? Since we will bake everything covered, you can imagine how flavorful this chicken will turn. You might notice some juice inside while baking and it's absolutely fine. We are going to use that juice as dipping. While my chicken is baking, let me prepare the vegetables. You can use your preferred veggies, but the interesting thing I am going to use is my fermented baby potatoes, garlic and shallots, which I kept under the brine for two and a half days. We'll use some rosemary for seasoning. Now sprinkle some salt. Adding some more onions to give veggies a nice flavor. Now adding olive oil generously and add some black pepper and then chili powder. Massage everything very well. The chicken is ready. Wow! The flavor is so mouth-watering. You can see the chicken has been cooked very well. Going to put the chicken on top and roast everything together. We'll boil the juice further to make it little bit thick. This will be perfect to use as dipping or can also sprinkle on top of the chicken during serving time. Apply some oil or butter on top and brush well so that every corner gets the oil. Ok, so it's ready for roasting. It's around 20 minutes and I have applied some rosemary olive oil to keep everything moist. Now what I'm doing is not recommended. You should always take out the tray and flip. But I have done it many times so I am confident. Just flipping the chicken and applying some oil. Before closing, I am just putting some butter slices on top. Well, my lime flavored roasted chicken is ready. And now it's time for plating. Decorate as per your preference, but I like to decorate food in such a way it looks more appealing and create a desire for that food.
If you like this recipe, like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you again.